in the next week the souvenir packages from the previous three majors are going to drop in price a lot. Specifically due to the fact that the Paris major that starts on 8th of May is going to have the same souvenir packages. Of course the only exception from that rule is going to be the Dust 2 packages because we no longer have the Dust 2 map in the active pool, meaning the pro players are not gonna play Dust 2 at this tournament so there is not gonna be any Paris major Dust 2 packages. Okay, let me try and explain in simple terms why I am claiming that the packages from Rio, Stockholm and Antwerp uh, tournaments are going to go down in price and not just Mirages specifically but even the other ones like Vertigo, Ancient, Overpass, Nuke, Inferno. Exception of course is the Dust 2 but we'll talk about that in just a second. Here are a few facts that I can bring to support my claims about these packages going down. First of all there is going to be a Paris Major tournament shop available once the tournament starts. There you would be able to buy the pass activated and then buy those souvenir tokens and whenever the games actually start you are able to withdraw those souvenir packages from the maps that have been played by the pro teams. You already know how all of that works but the important thing is that you can buy an unlimited quantity of tokens and one token aka one souvenir package costs only three dollars. And when you go back and you look at the prices for these packages it doesn't sit right right considering that there's gonna be exactly the same collections in souvenir form available for three bucks it does not make sense for them to cost this much right double the amount of course there is the difference right the difference is that the older packages from the previous tournaments have different stickers so for example Stockholm's and Antwerp's uh, might have cooler stickers as opposed to Rio's so they might not drop as much but still in my opinion it doesn't make too big of a difference if you get a desert hydra for example with Navi from 2021 Stockholm or with Navi from Rio because it is still a desert hider souvenir the stickers here don't matter as much because you know they don't really do signed souvenirs anymore so stickers matter way less okay here's another argument I picked the Mirage souvenir package from 2021 and I get to see what happened every time when there is a new major with the same packages souvenir packages if you take a look, you can try and guess based on this graph, this lifetime graph, when were the majors happening and when were the same collections reintroduced with a new major. Looking here, you can clearly tell that there is two big drops, one right here and one right here. And that's exactly when those two majors happened. At that time, the Stockholm Mirage packages were going for around 330 right before the new Rio major, and then they dropped below 3 just overnight. Same thing happened uh, before Rio, they're going over 3 euros, boom, dropped to 260. That is exactly what I expect to happen when the new Paris Major arrives, because we are going to have the exact same collections, well, almost, except the Dust 2 one. And if you look at the graph for the last two months, for example, you can notice a lot of growth, but particularly in the last week, the item has been plummeting, and it's not just that one. All the packages, the Mirages, the Vertigos, all of them are doing this exact same thing. You can see that I'm not lying, the Rio one as well. And I know it's scary that these prices are going down and you're probably not sure what to do with your packages, but I am fairly confident that they will keep going down just because we're about one week and a half away from a new major when we're gonna have new packages. And a lot of people realize this, so they already started selling their packages. And upon seeing that the price is already dropping, more and more people started selling their packages. I only really had about 150 of these Mirage Rio packages and I already sold all of them in this period. I managed to cash in almost at the peak and I'm pretty glad I did that. Now it's still not too late even though the price has gone down about 25% I do believe that it's gonna keep going down maybe it's not gonna reach quite three dollars right but six dollars way too high considering you're gonna have the exact same packages for three dollars in an unlimited quantity when that major eventually comes we're gonna talk about whether those new packages are worth investing into spoiler alert they might be they might be really good but uh, yeah uh, till then you are left to make a decision what to do with your current packages and I really believe that right now the best thing to do with these kind of packages is to sell. 
now let's move on to the dust 2 souvenir packages and here things are a tiny bit different to put it mildly first thing you're gonna notice is that they also dipped in price about 25 percent so pretty similar to the other packages this probably is related to the fact that the souvenir item that you can get the most expensive one the gold arabesque has dipped as well so obviously the package is gonna dip too but if we try and uh, think ahead about the things that are going to happen to this souvenir package first of all it's not gonna be in the next major meaning there's not gonna be generated an unlimited amount of these packages again so the supply is limited for now or maybe even forever that is an extremely positive thing second thing which i highly rely on is the fact that most people don't realize that when i'm talking about most people i'm not talking about people that watch this kind of investment videos i'm talking about people that just play csgo and just buy some stuff here and there just to have it or to invest like very mildly and casually and so on and i have a little bit of hope that upon the release of the paris major all those people are going to suddenly realize that the dust 2 packages are no longer available on par with a lot of collectors or investors that don't have yet the confidence that these packages aren't actually going to be repeated and at that moment it's gonna click for a lot of people that oh no these things are limited they're discontinued so let me just invest into them that's what i believe might happen of course that's never guaranteed but it's just my thoughts let me know what you think about that and the third positive thing that i see for these packages is the fact that there's not going to be another major till next year so we have a period of one year for these packages to be a hundred percent discontinued and this basically creates a very long period of time where growth is facilitated because there's not going to be any new souvenir packages inserted into the market this argument also applies to the other packages that we have and we're going to have in the paris major but only after the release of the paris major right once those prices actually drop till then you're better off selling those packages and then rebuying the new ones or the older ones for cheaper and now here's what i am doing with my dust 2 rio souvenir packages i still have over 1100 of them and uh, if you remember i made this video right here exactly at this peak and at that time my investment was worth around 7000 ish euros since then the prices have basically went up 50% now they're a tiny bit lower but I still did not sell because I have confidence in them but now that this drop is happening right here price is around 10 euros on steam which is really low I decided to buy even more I know that this doesn't really seem like a lot but even the 50 packages that I bought are quite a bit of money over 500 euros I know you might say that stocking up on these now at the current prices is a crazy thing to do, which maybe it is, <laughs> but I do really think that these have a lot more to offer in the coming weeks or so. We'll see where this goes. Of course, I'm not 100% certain in these dust 2 packages actually performing good. If I was 100% certain, I would be investing my entire portfolio into them, but I'm not, so we're yet to find out what is going to happen and thankfully that's gonna be quite soon but as for the other souvenir collections i do truly believe that the smart thing to do is to sell them right now uh, of course it's up to you to do that or not but you know you're going to be able to buy the rio packages the exact same collections for three dollars in game so might as well do that because you know you're pretty much just doubling your amount of packages if you're selling at the current price so it's still quite good well that was about it for this topic that was my take on the older souvenir packages and what you can do to first of all prevent yourself from losing more money and then secondly potentially make some profit of course these options have their own risks be careful about what you're doing but those are the things i'm going to do at least i will try to make some other videos talking about the past term and capsules maybe the stickers and so on right before the next major is coming we still have about one and a half weeks left so i have some time to do that but uh, right after the major starts i'm going to of course cover the capsules from the new major the packages and so on and of course in the meantime i'm going to cover a lot more topics so be subscribed if you like this kind of videos and i'll see you a little bit later and yeah have a nice rest of the day may lord gaben bless you with some stonks and i'll see you later bye bye